The ability to search drop down lists on the desktop version of Excel is finally here. As you can tell, I'm excited as I've been waiting for this for a long time. In this video, I'm going to explain how this works, and I'll also share a workaround if you're not on the latest version of Excel yet. All right, so let's get right to it. Here I am on the desktop version of Excel. As you can see in this cell here, I have a dropdown list or a data validation list with a lot of items in it. If I wanna search this list, I just simply select the cell here and start typing my search term. So if I wanna find an apple, I start typing apple. And as you can see, the list is filtered down for all of the items that match Apple. Now the great part about this is, is it does a contains type search, which means the uh, items do not necessarily need to start with the search term. As you can see here, some of these items have the word Apple in them, but it's the second or even the third word in the phrase, and the search will still uh, return results for that. So this makes it much more flexible and easier to find items in long dropdown lists. Uh, once you find the item, you can either click it with a mouse or you can use the arrow keys on the keyboard and then hit enter, and that will put the value into the cell. Now there's a few things to be aware of here, a few maybe bugs in my opinion that will hopefully be fixed and work out. Uh, one of them is, as you can see, as I hit enter, it just selected the same cell. So you have to hit enter again to move down to the next cell, even if your enter behavior is the down direction. So again, for example here, if I wanna find another apple, I'll just uh, select that, hit enter. It still keeps the selection on the same cell. So I have to hit enter again to go down to the next cell. Another uh, potential issue here is like I said, it does a contains type search, but only for whole words, not partial words. So what I mean by that is if we look at the list again, you can see here we have this item arrow root. It has the word root in it, but it's all one word. So if I start typing a search now for the word root, that uh, item will not be included in the results here. Now this behavior uh, does exist in other areas of Excel. So if we look at the filter dropdown list on this sheet here, and go into the search box. If I type root here, you can see that error root is returned. So that again, that partial word search does work here. So hopefully they'll bring this uh, to the uh, search feature of dropdown lists in the future as well. All right, so now let's talk about availability and what to do if you don't have the latest version of Excel. So the new search for dropdown list feature is currently only available on the beta uh, channel for Excel. That's for the Office Insiders program, the beta channel only, and it's currently being flighted out. So even if you are on the beta channel, you might not have this feature yet, but hopefully you'll get it in the next few weeks. The Office Insiders program is free to join if you're a Microsoft 365 subscriber. I'll put a link in the description below where you can learn more about that. Now, if you're on an older version of Excel, you're not going to get this feature. This feature won't be rolled back to older versions of Excel. However, I have created a free add-in called ListSearch that helps uh, with this functionality. I created this back in 2016. Like I said before, I've been waiting for this feature for a long time. So if you select any cell that contains a drop-down list here, you can click the list search button here in the ribbon. That will open up this window here, and this allows you to search the drop-down list. So it brings the uh, contents of the data validation list here into this drop-down. And then again, you can just quickly start typing your search here and you'll see the list of results filtered down. One nice feature of list search is it does do uh, that search for partial words. As you can see here, we have uh, pineapple returned, even though it doesn't start with the word uh, or the phrase APP, it still uh, does that contains type search for partial words as well. Uh, list search also has a ton of other features. You can expand the hamburger menu out here. You can sort the list, you can export them. Uh, there's also features for what happens after you input the value and which direction the cell selection will be. And you can also automatically, or have the list search window automatically open when you select a cell that contains a data validation or dropdown list. Again, this is a uh, free add-in. We've had over 30,000 people download this add-in. I developed it back in uh, 2016. Because, like I said, I've been waiting for this feature for a long time in Excel, so it's great to see it uh, finally here. One quick note on list search, if you do uh, download it, and I'll put a link in the description below where you can download it. Uh, you'll, if you do download the free version, you'll see the Excel Campus tab here instead of Hero Tools, and it'll just have the list search button on it. Uh, Hero Tools is our paid add-in. It contains over 100 features for productivity hacks and shortcuts like this in Excel, and I'll put a link in the description below where you can learn more about that as well. So I hope you're excited about this new feature. It's great to see this finally come to Excel. 
If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to leave a comment right below this video. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.